Hi there, my name is Maurício Aizawa and in today's video I want to share with you an automation tip that will help increase in your daily productivity. Every day we check our emails and we receive lots of messages. Messages from personal life, from business life, from family life, all of those messages we need to take care of those. For example, sometimes we receive some requests from business, from personal that we need to take in action. Sometimes we need to uh, gather some information or we need to ask for a colleague for more information about it. So after that, we can answer that specific email. So we used to say that we need to follow up this mail later. Okay, so what do you do when you have this situation? Do you keep this message in your inbox? Do you just leave that for later answer? Or do you, uh, I don't know, maybe you move to a task manager or do something else? What do you do if you have a virtual assistant working with you to reply those messages? So I would like to share now how you can use Zapier to automate this process and in just one click, when you just start at one specific email in Gmail, you can uh, create it as a, a follow-up task in your preferred task manager and also you can uh, add it to a Google spreadsheet so your VA can take a look and know the exactly mail that uh, the person needs to reply for you. Okay, so let me show you now. We are going to use Zapier uh, for this integration. So first of all, I would like to show you the result of this integration. My integration is ready. And later on, uh, next, I will show how to set up this, okay? So I have my Gmail inbox here and uh, let me show how it will work. Okay, so I receive, let's say, uh, this specific uh, email here with a task, okay? I receive a task, so I just click here in this star red, for example, in Gmail, I set up Gmail for this. And now when I do this, automatically will be transferred to this spreadsheet and uh, for the Todoist as well, okay? So I just set up Todoist, but you can use any other uh, task manager tool that you prefer, okay? So let's just check here. It will appear now because Zapier is running in background, so it's about five, five minutes, 15 minutes, depends of the, the plan that you have to uh, just transfer this information to the related softwares. Okay, so let's take a look. Okay, so we see the the task here just created and let's see on the on spreadsheet. Okay, great. So I see the, the both emails that I just marked here in the both uh, system and that's good because for example when I'm in my task manager for example I am uh, on the road I can just check all the mails that I need to follow up I can click here and I can have a preview about that specific mail and let's say I want to reply this mail so I have the link of the mail I can click here and I can go directly to that mail to uh, reply so that's perfect that's good because you can just go to the message and uh, very quickly uh, reply to this person. Okay, so great. So you, you, you see that you can increase your pro productivity on this. Let me show you now how we uh, set up this integration. So let me bring Zapier here, right? So I have this running in background. Let me switch off and let's set up a new one. Okay, let's go to Make a Zap. And on Make a Zap, what I'm gonna do? Uh, the application that I'm working here is Gmail, Google Spreadsheet, and Todoist. Okay, so let's start with the trigger. What is the trigger app? app? We are going to use a Gmail as the trigger app because at the moment that the email is started, new started mail, I will fire an action. My account is just right here, my Gmail account. Let me fetch and continue one data. Okay, great. So I have here Good. Now that I have set up the trigger for for the, the trigger for the started mail, let me set up the action. So the action will be, first of all, uh, Google Spreadsheet. Okay, Google Sheets. Great. And let me create a new row for every time that this happened. Okay, this is my account. Now, what is the uh, spreadsheet I want to add? Okay, I have one called Zapier Training and the worksheet I will, I'm gonna use is one called Gmail emails, okay, for follow-ups. When I select the worksheet, it will bring all the columns 
that is containing inside of this spreadsheet and now it's pretty easy it's just a matter to match okay so the information that is coming from gmail okay i will add here to the columns in the spreadsheet so let me add the date let me add the subject okay subject is here let me add the message link and you can search here or you can for example search for type here link and uh, search for the link what is the name let me see if it's the link uh what is out oh, here message url okay is the not link the message url and the from is uh, let me see if it's from yeah from name or from email let me put the from name okay that's it just finish continue and uh my configuration is ready let me create and continue it's going to do a test here okay so it's going to create a task as you can see here great good finish this and but it's not finished yet so let me add another one okay i will add now uh to do list right good so i'm adding to do list here create a task save and continue and let me set up to do list now okay good so uh i can i need i need to set up a, this is optional i can set up a project but i have one project called follow up email follow up the title is required so uh you can uh let me add like this for example from name i can add this and i will combine with the subject it's good because you can see the name of the person that sent to you and you can combine with the subject so you have a, a, a preview about this and on the note in the comments of this task uh, i'm gonna add the link the url what is the message url and i will add the content of the email to body plan okay and this way we are going to uh, we are able to see in a preview of the message in this task that's perfect that's good and uh, i will leave the other parameters but you can set up if you want okay all right it's set up okay great so uh what we can do now is just uh, add a name like uh, for example uh, gmail uh, started email to uh, google sheet and to do list okay just that added and let me switch it on great done okay so my zapier is ready right now okay what is that the zap oh i think the name was not added properly let me add again gmail uh started email to google shit and to do east okay added okay good my zap is just right here ready and let's do a real test let me delete those uh, rows here let me uh, just complete those tasks okay great and let's make a, a, a new test so I'm going to uh, let me select this one for example this guy Yan Girard. okay so we can see that uh, it's not right here yet and uh, Zapier will uh, will need around 5 to 15 minutes let me force to run uh i'm forcing now zapier to run so uh it recognized that is one mail and sent to google sheet and also created a task so let's confirm yeah i see here okay and let me see okay and i see here from yan this is specific uh follow-up okay so great guys so this is the tip that i would like to share with you this automation you see that is pretty easy to set up but as you do this repeatedly every day, uh, I'm sure that this is going to help you to uh, save time, increase your productivity. Okay, so uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoy it, please uh, like this video, share with your friends. And I would like to invite you to know more about my course uh, related to Zapier. It's a Zapier training that I, I teach step by step how you can set up Zapier to automate your life, your personal life and your business life. Uh, it's uh, on Udemy, so just click here in the link below and you can uh, know more if you really want to automate your life, okay? Thanks very much for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.